Natasha Denona mini Lila palette. Yes, it's very tiny. I mean, look at the size of my hand and look at the size of this palette. When they say it's tiny, it's tiny. But I mean, I really like it. I love the color purple. So if you don't like the color purple, then um, yeah. You are definitely not going to like this palette whatsoever. I mean, there's not much that you could do with this palette other than the color purple. <laughs> and there's only five shades in here. So if you look at my finger and I put my finger inside, it's basically the size of the pen. So yeah, they're small. Look at the size of my hands again, guys. And look at the size of this palette. It's only five eyeshadows. So um, yeah, $25. Mm -hmm. I guess it's not that bad. But it's still pricey though. It's still pricey for just five eyeshadows. But anyways. The colors are very beautiful. The formula is good. I like it. I use every single color in here to create this makeup look. Um, it was very simple to do as a matter of fact. It was just a little bit blending, that's all. Pretty much everything is purple. This color right here, this one is called Blue Dahlia. And it has like a blue and purple shift to it. Very pretty, very unique color. I like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much to say about it. I just, I really like the palette. It's $25, yes, is pricey, is expensive, but anything that is a Natasha Denona, it's going to be pricey. So if you're one of those that you really like the color purple, then I feel like this palette, it's going to be totally worth it. But if you don't like the color purple, then don't even bother because there's not much that you could do with this palette. Terrible swatches. Once you apply in the eyes, beautiful. I already put primer and I used the Tarte Shade Tape Eye Primer, which I really like. It's good. For my base color, I use the Soft Glam Palette from ABH, the color Tempera. This one right here. So let's get started to the actual palette. It's so cute. Okay, I'm going to get the 224 MAC brush and I'm going to get this color right here and I'm going to use it as my transition shade. I believe this color is called Flink. So basically I'm just going to keep on getting this color right here and I'm just going to keep on building up this color in my crease. I'm not sure what to do with this palette, but <laughs> there's not much that we could do with this. I mean, you either love purple or you don't. If you don't love purple, you're definitely not gonna like this palette whatsoever. Guys, I'm talking very low because my parents are sleeping. And now I'm gonna get this one here. I believe it's called Poison Berry. And let's start building up that purple shade. With the same brush i'm going to get the color in the middle i believe it's called racing and i'm just going to put a little bit of that color in my outer b actually it's just everywhere in my crease pretty much i'm blending out everything so as you guys can see, I'm just blending everything out with the color Racing. It is a beautiful shade. And I keep on using the same brush, 224 from MAC. It's 
So I'm going to be getting the color racing again and this time with a different brush tone because I'm going to be putting it in my lower lash. And now with a different brush, I'm still gonna get the color racing. Not too much though, I just want everything to blend nicely. And now with my finger, I'm going to get the color blue Dahlia. Mm, just look at that color guys, it's so stunning. Oh, I'm in love with this color. It's a very pretty color. brush I'm going to be getting the color racing and I just want everything to blend nicely between blue Dahlia and racing and now I'm going to get the color linen and I'm going to be putting this color in my inner eye to be getting the same color that I use for my inner eye and I'm going to put just a little tiny bit in my brow bone area for this look I'm going to put the Scorpio moon so pretty I really like this look it's very simple this look definitely requires falsies, but eh, I don't want to. And for this look, I decided to put blue eyeliner. So yeah, you guys, it's small, it's cute. You can take it with you just about anywhere. And that's pretty much my conclusion about this review. I'm not sure if it was very helpful, but I hope that for some of you guys that are, if you're interested in buying this mini Lila palette, um, that it's helpful and yeah. So I had no idea that my camera stopped recording and it did. And now I have no idea where I left off. So it's great. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys liked this video and if you did, please give my video a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel. I would highly appreciate it and please do not forget to ring on the little bell because if you don't then uh, you're never going to get notified every single time I upload a video. So um, thank you guys so much for watching if you still are and yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a beautiful day, night, wherever you guys are and you're watching this video. Bye guys! Mm. Ciao.